Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am making a delicious snack. Uh, you could use it uh, for the festive season as a starter, as a canopy, uh, whether it's Diwali or Christmas, or if you just want this one evening to enjoy with your cup of tea, even that is fantastic. And before I start, can I please request you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any recipes and you'll get a notification every time. As always, the recipe is super simple and I am taking paneer pakora to the next level and I'm going to sandwich it with a fresh mint and coriander chutney. So I'm going to start with the chutney. I have got here a good handful of coriander leaves, fresh coriander leaves. I'm just going to roughly chop them up so that I can give it a good rinse. And I've also got similar amount of mint leaves. Now, we never use the mint stalks because they are a bit hard. Um, so always uh, kind of just break the leaves and only use that. So I've got kind of equal amount of mint leaves. Also going to throw in three to four, according to your taste, um, green chilies. Now these are really nice and spicy. And I'm just going to give this a good wash. I'm going to put all the washed mint, uh, coriander and chilies in a blender. In goes a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar and juice of one lime. Oh, sorry, lemon. <laughs> you can use lime as well. And just a splash, a tablespoon of water and then I blitz it up. And here is the refreshing coriander and mint chutney. This is my absolute favorite chutney. It's top of my list. Um, and as soon as I've opened the lid, it just smells so, I'm so tempted to taste it. Ooh, spicy refreshing oh my god that is just delicious it's i love to have a little bit of this in the fridge it goes really well with dal chawal parathas any kind of indian food pakoras everything absolutely everything now that the chutney is ready i'm going to prepare the batter and for that i just need the basic spices with gram flour so I've got here 100 grams of gram flour, it's half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon salt and I've just got 100 ml of water. I'm going to add little at a time and just to get the right kind of coating consistency, just using a mini whisk to get rid of any lumps. It's a bit too thick. Gonna add a little dash, a couple of tablespoons more. You don't want it too thin like um, uh, pancake batter, but you just want like right thickness so it coats the paneer really well, and that is perfect. So I have got here around 400 grams of paneer. So that's a 200 gram block. And I'm going to take each block and just slice it into half. There. And then this, these two, I'm just going to cut them into like a one centimeter fingers. So I've got five little sandwiches right there. Just gonna take them off. So I've got this beautiful coriander chutney which we've just made. Just gonna put a little bit on top of each. 
just gonna put a little bit of chutney on top of the paneer pieces okay and then I'm just gonna seal them with the other piece of paneer I have got the paneer sandwiches ready, mini sandwiches, and I have got here some sunflower oil to deep fry. Um, you can use whatever oil is best for you to deep fry, but I tend to use sunflower oil. Um, and I've got it in a karhai. You could use a kind of slightly deeper frying pan. Just be careful, have enough oil in there so that the paneer sandwiches can kind of float around. And to find out around, uh, if the oil is ready, I would say around 170 to 180 C, but I never kind of, uh, you know, check the temperature of the oil. That's not how uh, kind of we grew up uh, cooking. So I always just drop a little piece there. And if it kind of pops up, that means you can see the oil is nice and hot. So I'm gonna take one piece at a time let's start with this side you just have to be extremely careful coat it really nicely and then you drop it very carefully into the oil and I'm going to repeat the same with all the pieces if there's a little bit of uh, chutney coming out do not worry it's all going to be in there in the sandwich somewhere just after a couple of minutes just turn them gently. Be careful when you are cooking with hot oil. Now these are looking gloriously golden, crispy. So it's time to get them out. Put them on some kitchen roll to absorb extra oil. Look at that. serve it with some of the leftover chutney the chutney will uh, keep really well in the fridge for four to five days so make the most of it so i'm just going to serve it here with the chutney And here they are, paneer chutney pakoras. They smell really lovely. And today I left them to sit for five minutes so I don't burn my mouth. <laughs> I get so many comments and messages about, oh my God, don't eat it so hot, but I can't wait. So today I've let it sit for five minutes because I really want to enjoy it without burning myself um, if you want the written recipe uh, the link is in the description because the recipe is in this month's pvc good food magazine so i'll leave the link in the description but don't forget to subscribe and let's see what's inside You have to eat it with more chutney. Mm. If 
if your guests don't love this or your family doesn't love it i don't know what to say because this is a guaranteed crowd pleaser it's got so many lovely flavors the outside is crispy oh my god that chutney is phenomenal oh my god really guys please to give this a go